We're back at TD Garden for the final round of the Hockey East Championship, where UNH fell to UMass Lowell for nothing. UNH generated multiple scoring opportunities throughout the night, despite the pressure from the UMass Lowell defensemen, but could not capitalize on those opportunities. I was very pleased with the way uh, my team played tonight. You might not believe that with a four to nothing uh, loss, but I thought they played well, moved the puck, and things just didn't happen for us tonight. We got some shots, got some traffic in front of their goalie, um, but just he was good at deflecting into the corners and not leaving too many rebounds out front and uh, eliminating those second chance opportunities, which was uh, key for them. I thought we generated um, enough scoring opportunities uh, to be in the game that didn't go in. I think we hit the pipe three times. Um, it just didn't happen. And the difficult part is uh, it's a team with great chemistry. We wanted to keep going. Uh, not only were they winning and uh, playing hard, but we were enjoying it and having fun uh, doing it. And it's, it's tough uh, for the season to end. It was, it's been a great couple weeks. Um, and we always knew uh, from the start of this year that we had a great team. Um, the kids in that locker room are unbelievable. Um, and we knew we knew we could do something special. We uh, hit a couple bumps in the in the in the middle of the season there, um, but you know we battled through it and we uh, we kept positive and and tried to tried to keep going. Getting to this point was an accomplishment in itself for the Wildcats. Tonight marked UNH's eighth title game appearance and their first since 2007. I'm Heather Ross for UNH Wildcat Productions.